What's up, everybody? Frown Ape 2 here, back with some more Subspace Emissary. Last time, we took to the jungle in the plains to figure find out more about our enemy, and after a visit to the jungle, we now know that Bowser is involved in this plot somehow. How fitting, I know. After a visit to the plains, we found that the ancient minister is still taking subspace bombs throughout the land. We know what their purpose is, but do we know what his ultimatum is? Not yet. This time, we're going to the lake! Starting this off, I say we take control as the man of melee himself. And I need to get this out of my system. Why is Rick Wazen a lake? He should be in the freaking ozone layer. This is not right. This is not according to Pokemon logic. I hate this mode. Ah! Okay, I'm done. Anyway, Rick Wazen, pretty fun boss fight, I, might, I must say. Failing at shielding here. Anyway, Fox, the reason I wanted to pick him for this fight, he's got a Reflector, and Rayquaza does have a couple of long-range attacks, like that Dragon Pulse that he did on the ground. Maybe get him to come up over the box. Maybe not. Nice! There we go. Okay, dodge that. Dodge that. Get that awesome front air. Take even more damage. Nice, got the reflector. Got him. As Diddy Kong forcefully drags Fox along, I think it's only right that we give him the time to shine for the rest of this stage. And remember how back in the jungle we got the Bramble Blast CD? Well, this is the song that is playing right now and it is probably one of my favorite remixes in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. As such, I'm just gonna take a little bit and let you guys listen to this song. Because, while it may not be action-packed like the rest of the soundtrack, it's still a really damn good remix. favorite songs in the entire game. Anyway, let's move on. We got the golden chest, so let's move on. I don't really have much commentary for the stage, I just love that song. Anyway, went dark, but we got a glimpse of an explosive block right up here. Hit this, grab a max tomato. Very nice. Wanna jump up these platforms. Grab the ladder. Avoid the hammer bros. 
shoot you in the face. Avoid the massive Goomba. Oh, I should mention. <laughs> yeah, you can jump on him in order to kill him. I think that's actually really funny. Okay, nothing over here. Let's move on. Alright. Build this. Wiggle my tail. Very rude. Alright, let's go through the door. These guys are super annoying. They'll basically lock you into a damaging grab, and they'll appear if you jump over them. These fights are not making this any easier. Basically, you just gotta jump over them. Jump back, and then wail on them because they are very annoying. Burn them! It's super up. Come here! Get over here and find an extra stock. If I can grab it. We go through let's go through this down door. Anything back here? Nope. Anyway, what you're gonna wanna do next is basically go up the same pathway. Except there's no item up here. Instead, it's an enemy gauntlet! I'm Tiny Diddy. Find this explosive block. And it's telling us to go down. And now there's a crack in that wall that wasn't there before. Go back through this door. These guys respawn. Which is really annoying. Grab up here. Now there's a button. And that door glowed. <laughs> okay, just crawl along the ground there. Now we can enter this door. Should you have come in the store before hitting the button, there would have actually been a massive pit of fire that it is possible to escape from, but it would have racked up a lot of damage on you, and well, that's not good. Anyway, let's head in. Kill that guy, and there's a door. And now, we're on a brass. That is going to be flooded with enemies. Not very strong enemies, I will say. Get you out of here. Get you out of here. Kill these guys up here. They will endlessly respawn, so it's kind of pointless. Anyway! Secret door! Let's go in it. These things, well, they a little tougher to destroy, but a good smash attack, and they will and they'll go down easily. Another stock. As well as our another golden box. And another CD! This is great! Usually CDs don't spawn out of those often. Well, unless you're like me and you have, well quite a bit of CDs to collect. This part is a breeze if you're playing as Fox. All you need to do is hold the ref hold bleh, hold down B and like these bullet bills will just go right back to where they came from. Or you can be Diddy and do this! Another CD? Stomp on these guys because it's so much easier. Landmine! <laughs> 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 
If you don't recognize that song, that was Battle Before Battle of Storm Hill. Yeah, that was. Oh, I missed! I will kill you! Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> sneeze! Friggin' allergies. That time of the year, even though there's still snow on the ground where I live. Alright, grab the- you're gonna wanna grab those max man, is all I'm gonna say. After going down, boss battle time! Now we- now we actually net Bowser stop! Not even 20 seconds- I'M GETTING MY ASS HANDED TO ME! God, I don't play Diddy Kong as much, that's probably why I tripped. And I'm dead! That is proof enough that I do not play Diddy Kong. But I do have some experience as this guy. Oh, good one there, Bowser. Also, you're gonna notice that Bowser is, well, looking a little different. Oh, whoa. Got him. Nope. Back up the damage. And that should do it. I am truly disappointed in myself for that despicable display of skills, Diddy Kong. Definitely weird. A shadow version of Bowser that did, that kind of disintegrated into those bugs. Looks like our enemy is more prepared than we thought. Anyway, our two CDs are Battle Scene Final Boss and Mike Song. Eh, Mike Song is okay. Battle Scene Final Boss from Golden Sun. That's definitely a good remix. We got Fox on our team now. We are truly unstoppable. Anyway, that stage definitely took a long time, but I think we'll still, I think we'll definitely have time for one more. Let's move on to the Ruined Zoo. Lucas running from a giant statue of Porky. Also, I should mention, you cannot damage it. Your only choice is to run. Well, Lucas as a character, definitely a good one. Oh, go, 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 don't want to get smushed. Watch these enemies get dropped in and utterly annihilated. Alright, getting into this part. Buttons you gotta hit. You 
music is kind of creepy though. That one on top. Ow, that was not part of the plan. Get that fuck out because they are very annoying enemies to fight. Jump! And that's the end of Porky. All we gotta do is survive the auto scrolling stage and we're done. Psych! Die, please! Getting into the real battle, we're definitely going to be starting as the back throw master himself, Ness. Alright, getting into this battle with Porky. Ness, sim, Ness is sim, both similar and different to Lucas. Roll to avoid the laser. Just keep your distance. Especially with that, because that can rack up a lot of damage and kill you. He'll also be sending out his little bomb minions. You can jump all around the stage. Nice there. Okay, you want to roll. Almost got him. I didn't get too much damage from that. I am standing on top of him. I... Huh? Roll. Roll. Because this thing will kill me. Unless he gets stuck on him like that! Almost got him. Almost... Yeah! Tactical back air for the win. Usually I end up dying in this fight because I just get greedy with kills. <laughs> I can't resist! Do oh, I missed! 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 <laughs> New member of the squad, Pokemon Trainer, let's get this going! And with the Diamond of Pearl Wild Battle theme backing us up, definitely a kick-ass remix in my opinion. Alright, getting into Pokemon Trainer, starting off, he only has access to Squirtle. But Squirtle is more than capable of holding his own. In fact, Squirtle is probably one of my favorite, um, fighters, because, well, light, very, very, very mobile, can do that. 
I'm getting absolutely destroyed. I thought I was gonna die right there. Okay, I can't remember if there's any secrets or not. as they will regenerate their health over time, but they have really crappy defenses, so they are not really that hard to kill. A couple of good attacks like that, and they go down easily. Oh, get out of the water. I know you're a water type Pokemon, but for some reason, if you swim too long, you will drown. Water spout, at least I think that's what that move is. As you would imagine, most for Pokemon characters at least, all of their special attacks have names. In Squirtle's case, he has I can get rid of this guy. My side special, as you saw earlier, was withdraw. Up special is waterfall. Stand special is water gun. But if you rapidly tap B, that is how you do damage with that attack. And down B, well, doesn't do anything right now. I want to remember that. Draw, get moving. Alright. Platform sinking to the ground, not too bad. Now we get into these guys, Bitens. They will reproduce. Which is very, very annoying. However, the more of them there are, the easier they are to kill. Alright, if you want to hop up this platform, you can use Waterfall and grab another CD! This is great! I want to take up this guy because water, because Electric is super effective on water. And how you got up here, I will never know. Alright, and now, probably one of my favorite remixes in the entire game. remix of Battle Team Galactic. Probably one of my favorite, like I said before, one of my favorite remixes in the entire game. I love Team Galactic and Diamond and Pearl. I love their battle theme and I love that it got a remix. It's so good. Anyway, that is your other golden chest for the for this area. Pretty straightforward from here. A couple more clues. I think that's how you pronounce that. Ah, more spikes. Get out of the spike, squirrel. That is what their attack will be. It is very annoying. And that guy commits suicide. Grab some more food. Desperately needed. Go over here. More thickens and fire premids. But these get, but the fire premids especially do not stand a chance as I have to type advantage. Ah. Grab those guys and they commit suicide. And you're dead as well. Now you're dead. The rays of light. That means we're getting close. Jump over the spikes. Or these guys. Ow! Can tech that.
with Lucas eager to join up, join up and go with Pokemon Trainer, this is definitely going to be a grand adventure. Of course we get Sonic Heroes with the CD. I'm not complaining. I absolutely love that song. Anyway, Lucas and Pokemon Trainer are now on the team. We have 100% of that stage. So now, next time on Sunshine Sanitary, we'll be moving on to probably my favorite stage in the entire game. Or at least one of them. The Battlefield Fortress.